I'm very eager to squish them. I have not done that yet. I waited for you. So. We have a little piece of toast with a bird on it. This thing. Yeah. A, a panda bun. Croissant. loaf of bread I think this is a macaroon Another loaf of bread. A lot of carbs. A muffin. Strawberry with sprinkles on it. Hello everyone, it's me, Heather Feather, and today I would like to try something with you. I saw a video on YouTube, I found it through the ASMR subreddit, and it was a girl, I'm assuming she was younger, she had a very sweet voice, and she was showing off her collection of squishies. And I really liked the sounds that they made. And even though her video unintentionally triggered me, I wanted to try to trigger you guys in a more deliberate way. So, I purchased a bunch of squishies, and I want to see what we can do with them. Alright, so here they are. They look 
really cute and some of them look delicious and I'm just going to be upfront with you guys and tell you that they smell like death. They smell so chemically. Uh, it almost smells toxic. And you might be thinking, oh, Heather, maybe you're exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. It is just terrible. Uh, some of them are scented better than others. Uh, like this one, for instance. <laughs> but even if they are in a, a bitter smell than their companions, they are still awful, and uh, I can smell it from here. It's awful, awful, awful. So, let's go through them together though, because they are really cute. So, we'll go with this one first. Uh, what, how many are there? So do the toast. It's a little toast charm. These go on cell phones if I'm not mistaken. So this one is a little chicken on a piece of toast. It's not especially squishy. It actually doesn't feel too good to squish. But it is very cute. You can see the little chick right there. His little eyes and beak and his little baby feet. And the back is not toasted like the front. And it's a tiny little square. Nothing too elaborate, not very squishy. I'm afraid to squish it like that because I'm scared I'll break it. But let's see what that sounds like in your ear, okay? So I'm going to put some chicken toast in your ear. the chicken toast. We'll put that right there for now. The next step is this little thing. I don't know what this is. It looks like an onion to me. It's pretty cute. It has two little eyes and a happy little mouth and it has rosy cheeks because I think it's blushing possibly. And then it has leaves on the side. And a little flower. I think that's a flower. I'm not sure. Unlike chicken toast, this has a metal chain to go on a cell phone or a keychain. It also has this black piece, but I don't know what that's for. Um, this one is not squishy really. I mean it is, but it's harder to squish it. It's not gratifying. Um, here, have a listen. Scratch it a little. Now 
this is what it sounds like when I squish it. scent two of the same kind by mistake I think I was supposed to get a different color one and a slightly different shape one but I like to think that perhaps they're soulmates and they didn't want to leave each other so they stayed together uh, and that's cute to me and they're in love uh, and they're also in love with you so they're gonna kiss your ears. <laughs> live for me. I'll never let go, Jack. I'll never let go. And then they let go. The bread was big enough for both of them. The bread was big enough. Okay. <laughs> so those are the little onion things. Next we have a muffin. Now I will give this credit. This looks like a muffin to me. Um, it has a texture that I'm not especially fond of, but appearance-wise, they did a really good job making this look real. And this one is, is much easier to squish than the little onion. All of these, except for the onions, I think, are made out of some kind of sponge material. Don't quote me on that, though. Um, this one doesn't have a charm, though, if you take a look. And I think that's because some of these are also wrist rests. So you're supposed to set your wrist down on them while you're typing, I think. Have a listen to the muffin. My muffin's in your ears. close your eyes whenever I bring some of the squishies close to your ears. Okay, so you can imagine what they look like being squished next to your face. Oh, I tell you what, the smell of these things. See the appeal of it. So that's the muffin. I like the bottom, it's very smooth. Alright. Um, next up, let's take from this side. I think this is a. Mm -mm. Or 
some kind of cream puff cookie type pastry thing. Um, this one does not smell as terrible. <laughs> I tried to find a nicer word. It doesn't smell as terrible as the rest, but it still smells pretty awful. I do like how this one looks though because I think it looks really yummy. The top has icing, not real icing. Um, see it? It has some glazed icing. Can you see? See if how it's shiny? It looks like a, a big fancy M or a very sassy snake. And the inside has light pink filling right there. And this one is really fun to squish. It has a little string and for attachment. But listen to that. make some sticky fingers. In your ear with it. This one's really, really easy to squish. show you what I'm doing in your ear. Just going like this. See how easy it is? Very squishy. Can you hear that? Digging my nails in a little bit. Like that. Looks so fluffy, right? It's so fluffy. I'm gonna turn it. So that is the delectable looking macaroon. I think. <laughs> Alright. Next, let's go down here. This is one of my favorite foods. I can't eat this one though. This is a croissant, I think. <laughs> it should be. I ordered one. Um, this one's very soft, like the macaroon. It doesn't make the same sound though, but as you can see, it's very flexible and squishy. On some of the packaging, it said that these smell delicious, and they were lying to me. But that's okay, because the squish factor is off the chain. Aw, <laughs> oh, look. 
doesn't it look like they're staring at each other? Good they miss each other. Aww, cute. So this croissant, I'll hold it up close for you to see that it is a sponge. I wonder if you can see the texture of the material that it's made out of. It is a sponge or foam. Oh look here, it's peeling right here. I wonder if you can see that. Sounds are flaky though, maybe that's just a way to add to the authenticity of your croissant. Um, it's just so fun. This is also a wrist rest. Wrist rest. Wrist rest. Wrist rest. Would you like to hear this croissant in your ears? Of course you would, of course, of course. Even if you say no. Who doesn't want the croissant in their ears? I mean, come on. May I try? Yes. I'm not even asking. I'm going to try and experiment with you. I'm going to... croissant over your ear and then I'm going to tap it and scratch it, okay? Alright, so there's a croissant over your ear. the other ear. Put it over your ear. Now. How did that sound? Too loud? Too soft? That is your delicious buttery golden croissant. And that one was down here, right? Yes. Okay. So next up, uh, let's do something. You have too big, too small left. Let's do a, um, a big one. Now we have a loaf of bread. This is very smooth to the touch. I think it's cute looking. And it is pretty squishy. I believe that this is also a wrist rest if I'm not mistaken. Because when I think of things I want to rest my wrist on, I think a loaf of bread. Actually, I should not joke around like that. I thought it would probably feel great. Bread is so soft. This one is brutal. This one smells oh. That looks funny. Ooh, did you see that? Cool. Let's do it again. Squish. Back to normal. Squish. Back to normal. Looks neat. Squish. No, the other way looks better.
You hear it when I tap on it? I just put the loaf of bread on your head. Now tell me if it feels like I'm scratching your head when I touch it. Anything? We'll see. So that was the loaf of bread. Do something that's small now. Um, I believe this is supposed to be a panda bun or marshmallow. This one has a stickier appearance. I'm not sure if you could tell. It's very cute. It's basically a circle with panda ear, eyes, nose, mouth. I really like this one because it's super squishy. It takes a good amount of time to go back to normal. Isn't that neat? It's fine. It's fine. This one is... I like it. I sort of wish all the others were made out of the same material. Because he is so fun to squish. We should name him. His name is Peppermint. I've decided. Unless you guys can think of another name, because then I won't listen to your names, too. <laughs> I really like Peppermint the Panda. Have a listen. Put him on your ears to see how that sounds. Peppermint the panda has a little. 
string to attach to a cell phone, I suppose. And that's him. I really like it. Wanna watch it again? I suppose that some of you probably think I'm a little silly sometimes, and I am, that's true, but I think that it's good to be silly and to let yourself <laughs> be goofy and nonsensical at times, because it's really, really easy as adults to forget. <laughs> the world can be in. And you start to take yourself too seriously and being silly is the way to. Remember the kid at heart. Give you a little bit of perspective. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> this is another of toast. I like the design of this one because it's really cute. See? It's like a little emoticon. And here's the bread. And the reason that this one is special is because if you look at the top, there are slots for the different slices of bread. I think that's neat. And the picture that I saw when I bought this, I had a picture of a cell phone. Oh, it's really soft in there. Ooh. I like it. Um, I had a picture of a cell phone in here. And I don't have my cell phone with me, but I do have chicken toast. So pretend chicken toast is a cell phone. How it would look on your cell phone. Oh, look, look, it looks like Chicken Toast is riding Big Toast like a tray on Falcor. Can you see how soft it is on the inside or no? This one's very squishy. I think that this one, the macaroon and the panda are my favorites so far. Wait, wait. This is what toast looks like at normal speed, and this is what toast looks like when it's going real fast. Ah. <laughs> I am bread. Have a listen to I am bread.
used. I like this one a lot. It's really cool. And last but not least, I, I don't stop believing you do, um, is the strawberry. Now the strawberry is covered in sprinkles. I saved it for last because of that. also has a little hole at the top that lets air out when I squish it. The problem with squishing the strawberry is that sometimes the sprinkles will fall off if you squish it too much. But it is cute. I've never had a strawberry with sprinkles before. Very colorful. And it looks very tasty. Now the listen is not going to let the strawberry blow in your ears. scratch the sprinkles in your ears. All right. I love strawberry shortcake dolls because they smell so good. Concludes our squishy tour. I hope that you guys like this. If you want to see more of this, if this really worked for you, please let me know. And I will look into getting more of these. They're pretty difficult to find, but I will try for you if you liked it. Thanks for stopping by. Check it out. The squishy goodness. Good night. Sleep well. Bye. Wait. You go with.
without Petrie. <laughs> How could you leave us without kissing us goodbye? What? I thought we had an open onion relationship. All right. Wind it up. I think this is the line. Right here. Is it going? I want to hear him tie. 